Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Super Make Something, the show where I make something cool and show you how to make it too. Today, we're using 3D printing to turn your iPhone earpods into a lavalier microphone. Let's get started. I recently moved into a new house. This is great because among many other things, my new home will give me more space to work on future projects. Unfortunately, the lapel microphone that I use to record audio for my episodes is still hidden somewhere inside of my many moving boxes, which has delayed the release of some of my more recent projects in progress. While unpacking, I realized that my iPhone headset has an integrated microphone that could double as a lapel mic if I could properly attach it to my shirt. As such, I decided to design and print a lapel clip to turn my iPhone earpods into a lavalier microphone. I began by measuring the overall dimensions of the inline microphone on my iPhone's earpods using calipers. I wrote these down on a sheet of paper, and then began sketching a design that I could attach to the collar of a shirt, slip the headphones in and out of, and hide the wires while it was being worn. To make the next step easier, I also jotted down rough dimensions for each of the clip's features on the sketch. Once I was happy with the overall design, I opened Fusion 360, a computer-aided design or CAD software package from Autodesk. In a new project, I first drew the general shape of the front of the clip using the sketch tool. I then extruded the sketch vertically, creating a solid rectangle. After this, I sketched the shape of the channel that will hold the microphone on the resulting face, and then cut the outline I drew into the rectangle again using the extrude tool. I repeated a similar process for the lip that would slide over the shirt collar, and then added various round edges or fillets to the object to get rid of any sharp edges that could snag my shirt. When I had finished modeling the clip, I right-clicked on the object in the feature tree, and used the Save as STL option to export the model into a format that could be read by my 3D printer's slicing software. I next closed Fusion and opened up MakerBot Desktop, a free 3D printing slicing program that supports my Maker Architect 3D printer. Here, I loaded the STL file I had exported from Fusion earlier, and verified that it was aligned vertically with respect to the printing surface. I then clicked the Preview button in the top right corner of the screen, which allowed me to verify the object's print settings by letting me scroll through each layer. Once everything looked good, I clicked the Export option, which wrote the G-code to print the object onto an SD card. I inserted the SD card into my 3D printer, at which point it began to make the object. During printing, the printer reads instructions provided by the G-code to move its print head across the print bed while extruding plastic. This process is called fused deposition modeling. Print settings specified in the slicing software affect the time it takes to print the object. For the microphone clip, I'm printing at 0.1mm layer heights with a 15% infill. With these settings, the print time was approximately one hour. Once the print completed, I carefully removed the clip from the print bed and removed the printed support material with some hand tools. The small layer height resulted in a high quality smooth print which should hopefully cut down on the clip snagging fabric as it is placed on and removed from a shirt collar. To insert the microphone into the clip, I first doubled the microphone's cord behind its body and slid it into the front of the clip. I then guided both cords into the recess on the clip's backside, slotting them into place behind the tab. With the microphone clip done, it was time to test how well it worked. I first fed the cord through my shirt and then slipped the 3D printed clip onto my collar. This resulted in a clean look without showing any wires. I next connected the ear pods into my iPhone's headphone jack and opened up Voice Record Pro, a free audio recording app available in Apple's App Store. I then began recording on both my camera and the app, clapping loudly three times at the beginning of the take in order to easily sync up the audio recorded by my phone's microphone with the camera's video during editing. Once I had finished the take, I transferred the audio and video to my computer. The audio is post-processed using Audacity, a free, open-source audio recording program for Windows, Mac, and Linux. I opened up the audio file from my phone and post-processed it using the following settings in Audacity's effects menu. I first applied noise removal to the track by using the noise reduction option. Using the compressor option, I then applied compression to lessen the dynamic range between the loudest and quietest parts of the audio signal. I next boosted the track's bass and treble using the corresponding filters under the equalization option. Using the limiter option, I then clipped extreme peaks in the signal, and finally used the normalize option to set the maximum amplitude of the track. I then exported this processed audio file and repeated the same steps for the audio recorded by the camera. In my video editing software, I imported the video file in both audio tracks, and then used the clapping at the beginning of the take to synchronize the audio with the video. For comparison purposes, I then exported separate video tracks that used the corrected audio from the microphone and the corrected audio recorded by the camera. Let's see which one sounds better. Hi, I'm Alex, and welcome to Super Make Something, the show where I make something cool and show you how to make it too. Today, we're using 3D printing to turn your iPhone earpods into a lavalier microphone. Let's get started. 
Though not as fancy as dedicated lavalier microphones, the lapel mic made with this 3D printed clip and headphones that you probably already own is a good way to boost the quality of your recorded audio and to up the production value of your next YouTube video. Overall, the lapel mic works pretty well to record audio for my YouTube videos. Since I usually always have my phone on me, it's also a more convenient option to quickly record audio compared to a lapel mic. Since many people have these headphones, I could also see it being useful in an interview or podcast setting where it's necessary to record audio from multiple sources at once. In this case, files recorded from multiple people could then easily be merged during post-processing. It's also possible to print them in various different colors, ensuring that you always have one that matches your outfit or blends in well with your clothes. If you end up printing this clip and using it to record the audio in one of your YouTube videos, please share a link with me in the comments below. Well, that's all there is to this episode. Thanks for watching. Now go super make something. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button and share it with your friends. Your support helps me make more episodes. Links to all project files can be found in the video description below. Click the subscribe button on the left to keep up with my latest projects. Click the cards on the right to check out more episodes and connect with me on social media. Thanks again for watching. Now go super make something.